Hey Aquariuses, it's Sunny, and this is your weekly for the week of July 6, 2015. So if you would like a reading from me, um, the link will be in the description bar below. Um, and I also may type it out right here, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And also after each um, video of mine, I always uh, have a picture of where you can get a reading from me at as well. So I do not see why that should be an issue anymore. But um, let's get into the reading. I saw from my visions the number eight. Eight talks about karma, talks about power. It also talks of expansion. So expand yourself the best way that you can. Um, and also eight talks of like there may be something that you've heard or that you uh, need to digest, like eight, number eight, like you ate it, you have to let it digest and, you know, get all in you and let everything digest and be good. So there may be something that may not settle right with you and within due time, you will understand why either you heard it or you went through it. So honestly, it depends upon you. And really big chance that something may happen towards the 8th of this week. For some reason, I kept thinking about um, Uranus. I, I believe you guys' planet is Uranus. I think. I don't know. I don't keep up with the planet of life. So I don't know if I'm wrong. I would say that I'm wrong, but I don't know. But it's funny that I saw the number eight because the first card that I picked out was the eight of wands. Very interesting. And this this card also talks about like expanding and moving forward, advancements. So that's going to be really, really cool for a lot of you, all right? So let's get into it. So this week is um, going to be a week for you guys to expand and to just like communicate your way through things. Very good time for you guys to network um, professionally yeah don't blow up all right because i do see some tension um to network yourself professionally um especially if you want a new job i feel like you need to talk to the right people or you need to know the right people in order to gain this sort of fresh start and this new beginning for you all right i do see that um be, you need to be honestly overall you do need to speak off of, of your communication i do feel a sense of some mixed messages um so just be careful about that a lot of you like you will do some traveling um and this place will offer you like a new beginning um just like new atmosphere you're going to feel like a new you you're going to feel really powerful and happy and ready to explore life so if you can please do some traveling this week please please do that um a lot of you like really uh going to the countryside and going hiking would like really be awesome like so 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 awesome i feel like um around sunsets would be a very good time for you guys to like regenerate um yourself and um do some meditation if you can like like i said do this around sunset uh or like go hiking around sunset all right so that'd be really, really good i do see that um working with other people will be torture all right a lot of egos people will be moody people will be mean it's just people want to take the lead no one wants to listen and this is going to be too much for you especially if you work with like you know a team-based job or maybe like you're the leader of something maybe like the people who follow you may not listen to you and it's just going to be like too much and you're just going to be too and you're going to be um in your head and it's going to be like really really stressful for you and depressing um what can you do honestly i'm just going to tell you to like you know gain a new strategy with this if people aren't listening to you make them listen to you in a professional way yes be mindful of your communication, all right? You can get what you want. Communicate your way through, all right? So if you notice yourself in troubling situations and people didn't listen to you before and you did certain things and people still didn't listen to you, take that into consideration. Gain a new approach, a new mindset on how to get people to either be nice, play safe, and listen to you, all right? This will help you guys grow mentally. Really, really awesome because you guys are you know air science you all about the mental uh, mind and um, intelligent conversations so yeah do that all right okay so if you are tied into a fire sign person fire signs are Aries Leo and Sagittarius uh, you may find this person a little bit naive 
yeah, there's something about them that just gives you hope and spark within your life. And you're just like, I love you. I gotta have you. Um, I do see that maybe you and this person would do some traveling together. Or maybe you are just going to leave this person all together. Um, I am picking up on a number three. And when I see threes involving like relationships, be careful about that. Because it's another third party, you know, coming in. So, and I believe I said that for you guys for the weekend insight. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna ask my cards, right? Yeah. You may be blocked from seeing what it is that you need to see. But honestly, I really do feel like it can go both ways. Like, if you feel like your partner is being faithful and honest to you, then maybe you guys are on the right track. However, if you have some sort of inkling, yes, inkling in your head, and you're like, is this person really about me? Am I the only one? You may be blocked by lust, okay? So be careful about that because I really do feel like a lot of passionate, sexy energy from this fire sign person. But also, I feel like a lot of you, like you will, you will receive some good news involving um, some sort of promotion, moving up, maybe supervising or um, traveling. So that's really, really awesome. So a lot of you, like you are gonna take, you um, are gonna take a trip to somewhere hot and sunny. I'm picking up on like a lot of um, yellows and orange colors for you. So yellow, really good time for you to uh, be creative. Orange, uh, be bubbly, be spontaneous, be yourself, all right? Be careful of trying to control things overall and just be careful, you know, of being naive. But the message of this week for you guys Ooh, okay so on the other hand a lot of you you may um be thinking about an earth sign person even though you are tied into uh this fire sign person you may kind of think about this earth sign person earth signs are capricorn taurus and virgo but honestly um you guys are ready for change you're ready for a new abundance you're um a lot of you um you may think about going back to school or you may think about learning more like within your job or um learning more about your surroundings when i see this card i think of like practical and like a student vibe from uh the page of pentacles yeah but um this this week see how he has like a lot of room around him you have a lot of room to grow and manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest all right oh this is tying into me saying hiking um would be really beneficial for you guys especially around sunset because you see how the sky is yellow so yeah um follow the money just make sure the money is right for you all right so have a good week this week my crisis and i'll see you guys next week bye